Microsoft Outlook tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can navigate Microsoft Outlook because we all need an additional email and what better tool than Microsoft to use. So let's jump right in. Now, if you don't have an account already on Microsoft, you can sign up and you can go ahead and even use your Microsoft 365 account as your Outlook account if you already have that. So I'm going to log into my Outlook account and this is what my Outlook account looks like. Now, within Outlook, if you click on the top left, you are able to scroll between different Microsoft 365 applications. Then on the left navigation menu, on the top, you have all of your mail. When you click on mail over here, you will have a menu like this. So when you open up this navigation pane, you have two different sections your favorites, and then your folders. If you look under folders, you will have your inbox, any draft items, sent items, deleted, junk email, archive, notes, conversation history, and then you can create a new search folder. Then on top, you have your favorites tab. In your favorites tab, you have your inbox, sent items, and then drafts. Now, if I go back into my inbox, I can take a look at any type of email that I've received in my Outlook email. Then after that, I can open this in Teams or open it in a browser if this is related to Microsoft or if it's a random email that is not related to Microsoft, I can just view it as I normally would view any of my emails. But whenever you open an email, you will see several different options on top, including a delete option or a ignore option. Then you also have the archive option. You also have a rule around option, so you can sweep messages. Move all messages from the inbox folder, move all messages from the inbox folder to any future messages, keep the latest message and move the rest into the inbox folder, always move the messages. So you can have a simple automation within your email as well. Then you can move your email that you've received to a specific folder. Then below that, you have a phishing report option. So if you want to report any phishing scams, you can report them from here. Then after that, you have a reply option. So if I open up any email that I have, I can click on this to reply to this message or reply all to this message or to forward this message. Whenever you click on reply all, this means that any person that was sent the original message is going to receive your reply. But if you only reply to this message, you're only sending back the email to that particular person. Then you have quick steps and you can add some quick steps to simplify and automate your email, which we will be discussing later. Then we have our red on red and then our tags option where we can build different categories. We can click on manage categories so we can classify all the emails that we receive. Then we have our pin email option so we can pin any email. We also have a scheduling option so we can schedule a reply and I'm just going to undo that for now. But after that proceeding on, we also have a retention label and then a printing option. Now, on the left side, we have a select option, so we can select all of our emails like this, and then we can flag them, mark them as read, mark them as unread, or empty the folder, like so. Then, on the right, you have a sort by option as well. Now, after that, you're going to see your draft, so any of the emails that you've drafted, which, again, you can multi-select like this and empty out any of your pre-existing folders. Now, additionally, if you click on create a new search folder, you can create your own specific type of folders, which you do not have the ability to do in Gmail. So let's say I want a folder for unread email, which is going to be called my unread messages or unread mail. And then I can just click on create. Then after that, I can just, you know, view all of my unread mail over here. Now, after that, we also have a folder for junk mail, which is going to be added here. Then we have our archive. And this is all of our basic emailing function in Outlook. But Outlook is so much more than an email tool. With Outlook, you can click on your calendar right under the mail section, which is included within your Outlook application, whether you're using your Outlook application on the uh, application version or on the desktop or web version. And you will see all of your calendars, all of your scheduled appointments here. 
and you will see we have the email organizer then we have the ability to accept or decline an invitation and we can even choose if we only want to decline this event or all events in this series like so and i'm going to decline this and i'm going to decline all events in this series the current date is highlighted and i can open this up like so and you can open up any date and you can add your own event or if you were added to an event you can choose to let your team members know when you're usually going to be in the office so this allows you to have easier emailing sequences now on top you have the ability to view your day your school week your entire week or your month on the calendar and you can plan all of your events you can take any event that you are invited to in your outlook mail and then import it over here you can also click on add calendar on the left to add your own personal calendar and you can also go to your bookings page for easier bookings for your time. Currently I only have one calendar that is being displayed but I can add multiple calendars including a personal calendar, a work calendar, so it's easier for us to navigate between all of our mails. Now below that we have a contact section. In your contact section you can click on add a contact and you're able to add the contact by their name and email address. You can also click on import contact if you already have a contact list so people that you are frequently emailing are easily available within your outlook. Then you have groups so all of your groups are available here. And within groups, you're able to send out emails. So if you're managing a project or if you're working on something together with a particular team, instead of having to manually add each individual to a email, to a email thread, you're able to send that email directly to a group and every person within that group would receive the mail. Then you even have your to-do section integrated into Outlook. This allows you to plan all of your tasks within Outlook as well. You can see over here you have a task list and you have different lists displayed on the left. You can add things to your personal or work list or your hairstylist list so it's easier for you to organize mail and move on. Then you have your OneDrive account and then you have any other applications you want to add. Now moving back into our Outlook account, let's say, and I'm just going to take a random email. I'm going to take a couple of email like this. And we're going to restore them. We have other deleted items as well. We're just going to select them, restore all, and we're going to go into our inbox. We have several different unread mail. And let's say we have a invitation or we have this assignment or this task due. Now you guys can see this is a task that is due and I'm going to trust this sender. And I have a task due today. Now, what I can do is that I can open this in Teams or open this in my browser directly and I can simply import this or take this over here and I am going to mark this with a specific action. So I can click on categorize, click on manage categories and I'm going to name this my school. So these are my school related emails which I'm going to mark as blue and I'm just going to mark this as blue over here like this then i can choose a flag so i can flag a specific email if i know when i'm supposed to do it so i'm supposed to start and end this by today so i know that this is urgent and i can label all of my emails additionally the easiest way to do this is to move this conversation or take the task you can just copy it from here and put it in your to-do list. Now, whenever you're drafting new emails in Outlook, you can click on new mail and then type in the to. So whoever you're looking to send it to, the CCs, and you can add a subject and insert your email as you normally would. You can also include any documents that are included in your 365 account. So it's easier for you to format your text. You can even view, go into the insert tab, add e-signatures, files, tables, and much, much more. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.